Welcome in CACPHP application development tutorial. In this video series, we will see how to create a simple expense management system using CACPHP. So for that, we at first need to install CACPHP. So we will uh, we will follow some step to install CACPHP. We need to install Composer first. This is our first step. So if you're familiar with CAC, uh, Composer, then it's good. If you're not familiar with Composer, then you just need to go in this location get composer.org slash download i given this link under this video description so you can just go in here and just download this composer from here and after click on uh, this exe file you will get the exe file and just need to click on this and just install it it's very straightforward there is no any complex step uh, to install composer so i think you will able to uh, install Comp installing install composer and after install succeed uh, if you just go in your command prompt if you just hit on composer just type uh, composer and after hit on uh, after write composer then hit enter you should see something like this then if you see something like this then it's okay that means your composer has been installed so this is our first step that you have to follow to install CAC PHP. The second step should be uh, see the documentation. So if you go in here, you can see the CACPHP documentation. There has a call option called installation. I'm just going in here and uh, this tutorial on CACPHP version 3. Latest they have released CACPHP 4 and these uh, two versions are almost, uh, almost similar. So you, you just uh, can follow same thing for 3 or 4. So you can see there has some requirements for CAC PHP installation. The first requirement is uh, you need a HTTP server, for example, Apache. They have told. And the uh, important part is they, uh, for install CAC PHP, you need minimum PHP version 5.6. And it can be 7.4. It also supported 7.4. They already mentioned it in here. And another important part is uh, you need PHP INTL extension to install CACPHP. So I'm going to show you this uh, option that how you can um, uncomment uh, PHP INTL PHP extension for Jam. Uh, so you just need to go in here and if you open uh, your Jam control panel, you can see a config file. If you just click on this config file, there is an option called PHP INI. And if you just open it, you just need to uh, press Control F. And then if you find using INTL, then click on the Find Next, you will get the line that's called extension equal INTL. So I think you will see this, uh, this will look like this. You just need to remove this semicolon and just need to save it. And after save, you have to uh, restart your Apache again. So this is the second step that that uh, you have to follow to install CAC PHP. Now the last step. So if uh, my version is greater than uh, 5.6 and then my in the composer already installed, then we can give a simple command to create a composer, to create uh, a CAC PHP project. So I'm just going to copy this line. They already mentioned that uh, we have to give this command to create CAC PHP application. I'm just copy this line and going in my stdocs folder. And this is the location of stdocs. And here I'm just uh, opening my git bash. If you are not familiar with git bash, then no problem. You just need to go in here or in this location using CAC PHP, uh, sorry, using uh, Windows command uh, prompt. So I'm using here get git bash. So here I'm just pasting the line that called composer create pro project prepper dist cac php. And the last one is my app name. I'm just changing the app name cac expenses and just hit on enter. It will just uh, take few moments to install cac php. So in this meantime, we can describe about our database. So I already created a database called CAC Expenses and there has five tables. You can see users table, 
there is called expenses table there is called income table and expenses has expenses categories income has income categories very simple structure a databases a database that i have created for this tutorial you can see that users has some fields like username, email, and password. And there has a most common uh, two fields for every table is created and modified. This modified field will automatically update uh, uh, when user will update or delay, uh, user will update, uh, then it will automatically update. So these two fields actually common in every tables. You can see every tables, this created and modified are common. You can go in expenses, created, modified are common. So you can see that every table name I have used uh, uh, that call small letters that I have used. And this is plural forms like expenses, incomes, users like that. And if you can see that uh, if there has a relation between expense and expense categories that I have used a singular from singular word for expense category that means the table name singular uh, of table name and then underscore id that means there is a relation between expense category and expenses and i have just make made this mapping with the expense categories id in here same thing i have done with income and income categories if you just click on incomes you can see income categories id i just uh, export this uh, database structure and the uh, and given uh, in uh, uh, under this video description you, you can just go in this link and just download it and just use uh, just uh, input and go for the use this uh, database so let's see the, our progress you can see that is uh, still downloading the catfish application so we just need a little bit time to wait okay it's actually done so now we, you need to give a simple permission we just type in y and hit on enter then it's actually done everything now we uh, we are going in browser and just typing localhost cac expenses just hit on enter you can see a layout like this and you can see uh this uh, my version is uh, greater than 5.6 so they are uh, telling it in here and our every extension also also opened so there is no any problem with extension and here is a, a option called database and you can see that they are telling that cac php is not able to connect to database that means our database is not connected with our application so let's make database connection first i'm going to my vs code editor and opening my project in VS Code. So after opened, you you should go in config. So there is a folder called config, and there is a file called app.php. I'm just going in here, and you need to see line number twenty. You can see that there is a debug option true. Uh, so in developer mode, you have to keep it true for see the debug kit in here. This is a good option in CAC PHP. You will familiar with familiar with this gradually. I will tell lots of thing about uh, this debug kit. And another thing that uh, we have to go down, go down, 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 to link our database with CAC PHP application. So you can see that in 254, there is a call data sources option. And in here, you, you have to put your host name. There is a host name localhost. I'm using local server, so I'm typing localhost in here. And username is will be root. Password is empty because there is no any password in my localhost. And database name. And I'm going to database, give the database name called CAC expenses. So after give, give CAC expenses, uh, if we reload our browser, we will see that CAC PHP is able to connect to database. That means our database connection has been established. So next thing that we have to do, we we are we will create our embassy for our every table. That means we will create add, edit, delete everything using simple CAC back command. So for that we have to go in 
uh, our terminal in here or you can use simple uh, command prompt to go in the location call uh, CAC expenses and bean folder you have to go in this fold in this file location then you have to give a simple command called CAC back I'm going to uh, give this command uh, now so you can see that the directory now I am in my project folder that means CAC expenses so at first we have to change directory that means CD then I have to go in bean so after going this location, if you just give an enter and if after going this location, you just need to give a simple CAC back command to generate code for your embassy you, for your all tables. So let's give the code, give this command. I'm just typing CAC space back, then all. All means it will create model, view, controller, everything. So all then table name so our first table name I'm using users this users so I'm going to type users then hit on enter you will see the back has been completed so same thing I'm going to type again cat back and now it's for another table for example this is for expenses table expenses table then you can see that everything is happening very fast. So next thing we have to make hack back expenses categories. Sorry, you have to type hack back all expenses categories. Okay, so now we will create hack back for income table. Then I'm going to create CAG back all for income categories table. So we already did um, uh, all comments for our five tables. So if you just go in, uh, if you just close our terminal and if you close this app.php, now if you go in uh, use source folder that means src and then then go in controller you can see there has some file has been created so there's the file called users controller pages controller income controller income categories controller and expenses controller expenses categories controller controller that means uh, users income income categories expenses expenses categories this five controller has been created for your CAC back command and same you can see in your model you can see in your entity you can see there has one two three four five entity has been created and in, in your table there is the five table has been created and you can go in template folder and there is a five uh, template has been created for expenses there is a four file that's called add.ctp, edit.ctp, index.ctp, view.ctp and it's like is for same for income categories, income and users. So it's actually has been created for your command. That means your 50% code has been already generated. So now go in your browser and just type here user. So now you are seeing that users table in here and you can add now new user. You can see your user you can edit your new user you also can view your user and you also can delete your user so same thing if you just uh, change this call expenses in route i am using actually controller name so expenses so hit on expenses you can see the new expenses list expenses categories new expenses category now you can add the new expenses so there is no any expenses category so there is no any showing any drop down but if you add expenses categories for example rent submit now if you go to add a new expense you will see the expense categories drop down now so relation also did by cag php cag back command so now it's uh, it's saying that we already did uh, 
our MBC, that means model view controller for our all tables. So now we need to uh, rearrange uh, our uh, application and we need to change our design and we need some more modification for uh, keep ready our application. So let's see the next tutorial. The, in next tutorial, we will add bootstrap in our application and we will uh, we will app, we will apply our own uh, design or own layout for our application so welcome for the next tutorial thank you for watching this tutorial